What happened to Mark? Well, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, hey guys, you can put your as exciting as you think it's going to oh, be. Oh man, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Keaton the Vlog here, welcome back to the channel, and today we are potentially making a really bad decision. Have you ever had that feeling that you should buy a really crappy old building and put cars in it? Well, let's get into it. here welcome back to I don't know building wrench time we're making we're here making terrible decisions no like I said I'm not planning on eating paint can you building like this that might have lead paint can you spray over it you know, can you just hide it? Yeah, I mean, I could, we would certainly have to have it inspected and find out whether or not there's lead paint in here. But. Right. Interesting. Is that the Marine Corps? Right. We're here making bad decisions. Go all the way to the basement? I don't know. Well, we're we're going to find out. Locked off. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a drop. Uh, well, the, 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 all the stuff is probably downstairs. All the yeah, there's a platform, a ladder going up to a platform up there. I guess that, I bet that's how you get to the roof. Yeah, sure. Where do these stairs go? <laughs> they go up. Yeah, up. It's right here, right? That's right there. So it's been. It's been. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're still getting to the basement. Yeah. Because <laughs> yep. it's probably under there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And I wonder if this is a separate uh, is this part of that same room? Yeah, this went up to that room. Yeah. Okay, so okay, they just cut it off. That's okay. Oh they did, yeah. So that's an oil tank just for that. Where does that other oil, what does this other oil tank feed? The one that we saw back over here. So here's a, a line from the oil tank that went. That goes, it goes to nowhere. It goes right here. I bet that's what that, oh, look at that. Oh, baby. Look at that. The bodies are buried right here. Okay, let's put this over here. Yes. So, yeah. Uh... 
But, whoa. In a basement of this size, it doesn't surprise me. There's a little bit of a leak. And that's the old furnace. Can you believe that thing? Oh my goodness. The scrap metal of that would, if you could get it out. Yeah. This is the electrical room, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like this room that I'm standing in is that little bump out that we walked past in that's the right. front. Yep. Right? That's yep. like lower. So can, can can we see what how much power is coming into this thing? It's gotta be at least two hundred. I bet you but I could well, I would hope it's more than two hundred. Oh, yeah, this right? might be three, I would imagine you're right. Uh, yeah, look how many break. Look, look at these. Just count them up. Yeah, these are. Oh my God! Yeah. A, is there an amperage yeah. rating on the main breaker? There? It doesn't seem to be. That's the yeah. weird thing. Yeah, or off. Yeah, but look, there's a hundred amp circuit. There's sixty. There's. What's the what's yeah. that breaker box there? You get this. This can all be. This can all be uh, demoed. You can put a, a steel beam. What are we gonna do? Yeah. To actually come across here and eliminate both of these walls. Yeah. Okay. So you have basically a big post intersection here, so we've cut yep. all this out. Yep. We've cut all this out. That's not a load bearing wall there on this side. Yeah. So if you get from that wall, see the opening far in the opening? Yep. You get all down the way, right? Yep. You can actually bring cars right down through here, and I reckon by my calculation, you probably fit 10 cars at least back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from here, I think you got probably 15 less maybe. One or two, but that's the most economical way to get out of that. Yeah. You just, see, this isn't low grade. You're gonna, again, you're going to have to work around this as Mason or whatever, but, but you're probably talking, I don't know, it's a big market. Why has it, why, I wonder why he didn't, doesn't buy it. I don't know. Well, maybe we should ask him if we, if we, if we bought it, would he would be he, interested in storing some cars here? Yeah. Because he might occupy five spaces right there. Yeah. I mean, I think if we, we could put lift a couple of lifts in here, and, and this could be the place where we do do the work. We'd store over there, work on them over here, make that a paint booth. Yeah. yeah the problem with that is like. It's an hour like, trip up here. Every, yeah. Whenever, yeah. Doing work up here is like. It's a. Yeah. If you're just gonna store stuff and you gotta run up here and switch stuff out once in a while, but yeah. you're not gonna come here every Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, you make well. Maybe. Yeah. How much would it cost to move this building to Annapolis? <laughs> <laughs> About three million dollars, which is what this building would cost in a yeah, right, yeah. What do you do when you see a door that says do, do not, not open? open. Uh, I need some light on that, baby. <laughs> I think I left my If they were really serious, they wouldn't have they would have put a lock yeah, on like, it. Was yeah. It was an Aquaman or something, they kept in a big lock type. What happened to Mark? Well, <laughs> what happened to the four? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, hey, guys. You can put it nearly as exciting as you think it's going to oh, be. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have some we have some things to figure out. We have some things to figure out. I don't know, Woo. What do you think? This guy's an idiot. This is a terrible idea. Sorry, I it's, I know, right? Well, there is some diligence to do, but I don't think we're gonna go through with this building thing. It's just it's too far away. It needs too much work, and. I just don't have time for that. That is not the building. However, we are still on the lookout. This is still a possibility. If you see any buildings out there around Annapolis, 
let me know in the comments. If you have a building in Annapolis that you're trying to unload, let me know in the comments.